This church where the Lord is good, amen. He's our king. He's our God. He's our savior. He's our soon coming king. We love him. We adore him. Without him, we are nothing, amen. Have glory, hallelujah. I'm Pastor Keith, the pastor here at the Missionary Baptist Church. I welcome you all here to our uh, Sunday morning service. We have members that are here in uh, actually in the building. To our family and friends that are uh, looking by Facebook, YouTube, God bless you all. Our friends that are supporting us from Africa and Peru, God bless you all. We continue to pray and intercede on your behalf, the need that you have there, and the sickness that's going on in your land. We continue to bombard heaven on your behalf. Amen. Amen. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and we are all exceedingly glad in it. Because we serve an awesome God. Mm -hmm. In our worst day, God is always good. I don't care what we're facing. I don't care what we're going through. God already knew that we were going to face it when we went through it. And he's going to always be in the fire with us. Amen. Amen. Just like he was in the fire with the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God is not a respectable person. If he was in the fire with them, he will be in the fire with you. But you have to believe that, amen? amen. You have to believe that in your heart that God is faithful to all his people. The ones that call upon his name, he is faithful and he is worthy to be praised. Those boys said, uh, I don't care. What you say, we're not going to bow down to any golden image that's against what we believe, that's against, my Bible tells us we're going to worship one God, the true and living God, and that's what those boys did. They decided in their heart they were not going to worship the things of that world, and God delivered them. But he, they said, even if God does not deliver us, we still are not going to bow down to this mess. Bottom line, they said, you can kill us, mm -hmm. but we're going to still serve our God. Yeah. But God showed up in a mighty way. Go back and read it for yourself over in Daniel chapter 3. Those boys were pitched over to that fire. They were bound up in their clothes. But God, the Son of God, was there with them. Mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar walked up to it. He said, didn't we throw three men into this fiery burn? Oh. But I see four men. <laughs> and the fourth one is like the Son of God. God we serve. Yes, the God that parted the Red Sea. Yeah. The God that delivers time and time again. Mm -hmm. Call upon his name. He will deliver you. Yes, but you got to believe it. Yes. It's not going to happen if you don't believe. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory amen. be to God. Amen. We love you all so much. Thank you all for joining us so much. I'm going to pray and then we're going to let our choir sing. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you so much. You are a good, good God. You're better to us than we're better than ourselves. You're the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. There is none like you, O oh God. There never has been and there never will be another God like you. You're the God that loved your children so much, even when they turned away from you and went their own way into sin, separated from you, Lord. You sent your one and only Son, Jesus, into the earth. You send him into the earth to die a horrific death to bring us, your children, back into right relationship with you. And not only to be in right relationship with you, but to create us an eternal home in your kingdom. And that's great news to us, oh God. In your kingdom, there will be no more sickness, no more dying, no more tears. And we thank you for it right now in the name of Jesus. Only you could give great gifts like that, oh God. We thank you so much for your grace and your mercy, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father, we're your church in your hand. And we surrender our lives unto you. Mm -hmm. We depend on the cross of Christ today, Lord. Mm -hmm. We need you today. We need you to show up in the midst of our lives today. Mm -hmm. We need the anointing of the Holy Ghost to fall fresh on us today, Lord God. Mm -hmm. To meet every need. To destroy every work of the enemy in our lives, oh God. To heal our bodies, our mind, our soul, and our spirit. That we will follow you wholeheartedly, oh God. Denying ourselves mm -hmm. and picking up the cross of Christ. Mm -hmm. Give us the mind of Christ that we will walk after you. Yeah. We will listen to you. Yeah. We will be obedient unto you, unto, even unto the cross. Mm -hmm. We need it today, God. Yeah. We love up every name, member of Daniel Missionary Baptist Church. And our families, and our families, man, we have bereaved and loved ones that 
have gone to glory. Father, we ask you to be with our families as they mourn the loss of their loved one. Give them peace that surpass all understanding. Lord, Lord God, you are with them. And there's nothing that you will withhold from the Lord. Amen. We thank you so much, Lord God. Father, we pray for the loss in our community, on our job, in our respective places where we stay. And we pray by your spirit that the preached gospel of Jesus Christ will be preached, it will be shared, and they will experience the love of Jesus. That they will fall to their knees and ask, what must I do to be saved? We thank you for saving our lives. And Father, we pray for the ones that know you, that have turned their backs on you, that are struggling with whatever additions they are struggling with, whatever has them bound down to keep them from serving you. Whatever it is, we ask you to destroy it in Jesus' name. That they can hear you. That they will repent. They will return back to Jesus, their first love, mm -hmm. and they will follow you the rest of their days, oh God. Mm -hmm. We just thank you so much for every church that's called by your name. And we pray for this service today, Lord. Mm -hmm. And Father, as the, the, uh, the uh, song is being sung, as we're praying, and as the preached word of Jesus is preached, that you will follow. Mm -hmm. You said in your word that signs and wonders will follow those that believe. And I'm crazy enough to believe it. Mm -hmm. So Father, we thank mm -hmm. you so much. We lift up every unspoken prayer request. Mm -hmm. Prayer request that people may have on their hearts is unspoken. Mm -hmm. We ask you to work behind the scenes to bring those to path in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And Father, that's what we do lift up our covenant partners in Peru and Africa. We pray for them. We lift them up. We make mention of them before you. Provide, heal, set free, whatever they need. We ask you to do it. Mm -hmm. Do it in these United States. Mm -hmm. Bring us back together on our knees as a praying nation. Calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we magnify your name. We say this prayer in Jesus Christ's name. We pray and give thanks. Hallelujah, amen. amen. Hallelujah, amen. amen. Hallelujah, amen. Let's give God glory in the house of God today. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Choir of this.
God praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We thank you that you are with us in times like these. You're always with us, oh God. Mm -hmm. You're the solid rock mm -hmm. of our salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what an anchor is, an anchor is something that hungers that. Mm -hmm. When it's rooted and grounded, it does not move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a ship is out to sea, they drop that anchor. Mm -hmm. I don't care what's trying to move, but that anchor is stuck and that ship ain't going to move. Mm -hmm. So bottom line, what I'm saying, if you're anchored in Jesus, mm -hmm. if Jesus is the solid rock of your faith, Whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, you cannot and will not be moved unless you move it. Amen. So when you drop your anchor down, come on high water, mm -hmm. and be careful. We have the children here. Mm -hmm. The children repeat things. Mm -hmm. the and then they get in school and well, I heard my pastor say that. Amen. I may be saying it in the right context, mm -hmm. but the teacher may not know it. Amen. 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 But God is good. All the time. All the time. He's good. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, welcome here to Daniel Missionary Baptist Church here in Tuskegee, Alabama. We love you all. Thank you all so much for joining us today. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to the book of Ephesians. It's over in the New Testament towards the end. Ephesians chapter 2. We're going to read a few short verses, verses 8 through 10. I still challenge everyone to continue to read your Bibles. Oh, oh. There's some people that do not believe there is a God, and God, we're back like the Word of God, so we're not even supposed to argue this point. Uh -huh. We live it and let other people see it. But if people will read their Bibles that was uh, inspired to be written over 2,000 years ago and start looking at the current events that we are seeing going on now, these things that we're seeing were prophesied during that time. And they're coming to pass. Read your Bible. This Bible was just not written. It was written a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But things that the Bible said is going to happen in these last times, in these trying times, we're seeing them right now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to name someone. We got little small children. But if you read your Bible, you will know. You will know. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 through 10. I will be reading from the New King James Version. Let me put my glasses on. One more time. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 through 10. And the word of God reads, For by grace you have been saved. Let me say that again. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Mm -hmm. Not of works as anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus for good works. Which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Mm -hmm. Can we say amen? amen? Amen. The title of today's message is God's Grace. And mercy mm -hmm. is running after us. God's grace and mercy is running after us. The text says, for well, by grace we are saved. What is grace? Grace is God's unmerited favor on our life. Mm -hmm. Meaning, he gave it to us when we did not deserve it. We deserve everything that the law said we should be deserved. Mm -hmm. We deserve death. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of sin. Well, Pastor, I haven't committed any sins. I've never done anything wrong. I've, I've given. Um, I've been nice to everybody. You know, I try to respect everybody. But doing good is not good enough. Not in our standards, but in God's standards. Because of sin entered to the world, we died. But by God's grace through faith, we know faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, I believe. Verse 1. 
the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. And the text is in that not of yourselves. Again, there is nothing that you or I can do to deserve God's grace and his mercy. He just lavished it on us because he loved us just that much. God's grace and mercy is continuously running after us. We've messed up. We've done wrong. But the Bible said God created us in his workmanship beforehand and that we should walk in him. So if he did that for us, he's going to do everything in his power to bring us back to himself. Amen. It is God's will. He wants us to be saved. Yes. Well, Pastor, you don't know what I've been through. That's you right. don't know the things that have been done to me, the things that I have experienced in life, mm -hmm. the evil that has been before me. Right. I know he knows. Mm -hmm. I may not know, mm -hmm. but he knows. Mm -hmm. That's why he died. God created us, he created us, each of us, wonderfully well. Mm -hmm. He knew that we were going to go through trials. Yep. He knew that we were going to go through tribulations. Mm -hmm. He knew that we were going to lose loved ones along the way. Amen. He knew all of this. Yep. That's why his grace and his mercy is continuously to run after us. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to be anchored down in him. Well, how do I do that, Pastor? Read the Word of God. Mm -hmm. The Word of God is an anchor. Mm -hmm. It is solidified. The Word of God is God. So the more that you read His Word, the more that you study His Word, the more that you believe Him at His Word, He's anchoring you. He's building you. He's shaping you. He's molding you. His grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. His grace is sufficient for your life. Yes. Second. Uh, Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 and 10 said, and he said to me, this is Paul talking, right. my grace is sufficient for you. Mm -hmm. We know that Paul had some type of thorn in the flesh, mm -hmm. but God said, my grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. Father, I said, Paul, yeah, you may be going through something, mm -hmm. but I'm here with you. Mm -hmm. My grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. You may be suffering in your flesh. You may be going through a trial or tribulation. I did not tell you that these things were not going to come, but I need you to stay focused on me, what I'm telling you to do, and know that my grace is sufficient. He said, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Mm -hmm. See, and sometimes if we are puffed up, we're in good health. We all want to be in good health, mm -hmm. but we're all going through something. Mm -hmm. But when things are going well, and we're doing well, and we do things, who gets the glory for? Sometimes pride says, look what I did. God. And look what we do. What we, we're doing this in our own strength. Mm -hmm. God didn't do this. We did it. Oh, That's why the Bible said, in our weakness. See, God can use the weakest things in the world to get his glory done. So when people say this, they will say, it ain't no way in the world that he could have done that. No, I didn't do it, but my God did it through me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, made perfect. Therefore, most glad I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Amen. He's saying that even though I'm going through, God's power is still resonating in my life. I'm telling you, church, even though we're going through what we're really going through, spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially, if we allow God's power to rest through and abide us, he will get us through. Yes, he, he does not want us to uh, linger in the things that, that may have us in bondage to stop from doing our work. Think about it. Mm -hmm. If everybody's going through and we just put the church aside, we don't do anything that God has called us to do, we're at a standstill. Mm -hmm. We are at a standstill. Well, Pastor, I gotta wait till I get things right. I gotta wait till things get better in my life. I gotta wait, I gotta wait, I gotta wait. Mm -hmm. That time may never come. So basically what we need to say and we need to make a decision today regardless of what I'm going through I would have to get before God just like Paul did and let his grace and his mercy be sufficient in my life that I can continue to do the works of Christ. Amen. Our text said that he prepared us beforehand that she will, we should walk in them mm -hmm. in the good works that he had called us to do. Mm -hmm. Jesus is a perfect example. Jesus came on this earth 
He walked as a man. Jesus hurt as a man. People offended Jesus. They did all manner of things to him, but it did not take him off the beaten path. Amen. He came to walk. Amen. He wants us to be able to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be able to do the same thing. He says, Therefore, I, I'm still in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 19. He said, verse 10 says, Therefore, I take pleasure in affirmation and reproaches and needs and persecution and distress for Christ's sake. He said, Yeah, I will go to do this for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. He went through it, so why can't I? Amen. Amen. I know it's hard, it's hard to go through things. I know it's hard to do things. When there's not enough money. I know it's hard when we're sitting in our bodies and we're not functioning well and things are going all around us and people are treating us well. I know it's hard. Mm -hmm. But God wants us to stay anchored in him and continue to get his will done here on earth. Yes. Yes. That's going to give God glory. Why? Mm -hmm. But people are going to see, I know what they're going through. I know how much money they make. How are they doing this? They're sick in their body, but they're still giving God glory. They're still loving people, still giving. They're still being a blessing to other people, even they're going through things themselves. Mm -hmm. That's the glory that God gets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when people see you time and time again, even though you may be going through the same thing they're going through, but you have a different outlook and you have joy in your life. And they're going to ask you, where are you getting that joy from? I'm bare, I'm about to lose my mind. Help me. And that's when the door is open. Amen. And you can share God's grace yeah. and his mercy mm -hmm. with somebody. Mm -hmm. We don't go through things just to go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we go through, we want to get out quickly. Mm -hmm. But sometimes God, not sometimes, all the time, God will use the thing that you go through to be a blessing yeah. to somebody else. Amen. He will. Amen. He will do it time and time again. Mm -hmm. God did not create us to live a perfect life with nothing ever happened in our life. Everything is always 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. uh, 60 minutes a day. He did not create us to go through perfect times. <laughs> because when he created us to do that, we wouldn't need him. Amen. We're Amen. To here to be a light unto the world, to let them know that God's grace and his mercy is running after them. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Listen to this. Is it that what we also, since we we're surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily entangles us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. That's over in um, uh, Hebrews chapter 12. Mm -hmm. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endures to the cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, I know times are hard. We're, we're in the midst of a pandemic. We thought the pandemic was going to end. It didn't end. It looks like it's getting worse. Mm -hmm. It may get worse. Mm -hmm. But we have to be anchored in Jesus. Mm -hmm. We have to be so rooted and grounded in him. I don't care what storm, situation, or circumstance come your way, that you will not be moved. Mm -hmm. And by chance, if you are moved, fall on your knees and say, God, I need you in my life. Mm -hmm. I need you to help me get anchored back in your word. Mm -hmm. I need you to make me to be stable in my life. That people won't see me or what I'm going through, but they see the cross of Christ in my life. Mm -hmm. God does not want us to be anxious for anything. But in prayer and supplication, give thanks unto God. That's foolish unto the world. How in the world can you give thanks to God when you're going through? You just don't know my God. Never worry. Never fear. Cast all your cares upon the Lord. For he cares for you. Do nothing out of pride, selfish, or vain conceit. But in meekness and humility, consider your others better than yourselves. This is the workmanship that God created us to be over in Ephesians chapter uh, 2 at the end of that verse. He said, rid yourself of all malice, envy, strife, anger, slander, deceit, and hypocrisy. Be kind, loving, gentle, patient, merciful, and honest, and self-control. Those are the characteristics of Christ that he wants to replace and put in our life. But we have to allow him. And so whatever things are true, right, pure, and praiseworthy, those are the things that he wants us to think on. Amen. 
And I'm done. He wants us to know that his grace, his mercy is sufficient for us. He wants the world to know that his grace and his mercy is chasing us down. But we got to stop. Let him catch us. Let him shape us, make us, and mold us into the men and women of God he called us to be. He paid a high price for it. We talk about it every Sunday. We talk about preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's simple. Christ came. He lived. He taught. He preached. He set the captives free. He died. He was murdered. He was put in a bar or two. But on the third day, as God promised, he raised Jesus up from the dead with all power in his hand to deliver us from the works of the devil. That we can be set free in our life. That we can receive God's grace and his mercy. And Jesus is right now sitting at the right hand side of the Father. Interceding on behalf of you, your family, your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors, whoever you have influence, whoever you know. He died for them. He's interceding on their behalf. So he has called us today. To know that his grace and his mercy is chasing us down. Amen. He created us for good works. That he wants to co-labor in us and through us. To get his will done here on earth. As it is in heaven. So people don't have to say, well where is God? He lives on the inside of me. He lives on the inside of you. Let me show you by the example and the walk that I live. That God is real. I may not have it all. I may be still going through. But as long as his grace and his mercy is sufficient in my life, I'm going to stay hungered down, anchored down in my faith in him, and I'm not going to return Amen. back Amen. to the way that I used to live. Uh -huh. That's what Jesus died for. Yeah. That we can live a new life. Yeah. His grace is sufficient for each and every one of us today. Yeah. His grace is sufficient for everyone that you know. Uh -huh. Let's tell him. God's grace is sufficient. Let's show them that God's grace is sufficient. Allow God's power to work through your life. It's not you, it's him. And when you see him working in your life, give him the glory for it. Let other people see that God has his grace, his hand, his mercy upon you. Let's give God the biggest praise that we can give him for his word. It's true, it's everlasting, it will not fail, it will not return to God's for. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Why are you may sing.
first call for his children to return back unto him. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you're out there and you don't know Jesus, meaning you have never accepted Christ as your Savior and your Lord, let today be the first day of the rest of your life. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he died for you and God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. It's Amen. only by faith. Mm -hmm. You have to confess it mm -hmm. and believe it. Right. And walk publicly before people to let them know that I have given my life to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then find you a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. We would love to have you here at Daniel Missionary Baptist Church. But if you're not in this area, ask God to help you find a church that you need to be a part of. Amen. Don't go by looks. Don't go by number. Don't go by fame. And I'm not being mean or disrespecting anyone, but you go where God wants you to go. Amen. Every place is not for everybody. Amen. You seek the heart of God. Amen. But if you made that confession of your faith today, we celebrate with you. It's just that easy. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I've been through. Mm -hmm. He does. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody say anything like that. He died that he can save you. Yes, he did. Even if you walked away from Jesus. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I don't have to know. It's none of my business. Mm -hmm. It's between you and Jesus. Amen. The Bible yes, says in 1 John 1 and 9, if you confess and repent of your sins, that he, not me, mm -hmm. but he is faithful and just to forgive you and wash you from half of your sins. Nope. I'm sorry. All of your sins. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have a little humor, but I just want you to know that he said all of your sins. Mm -hmm. That means from the first sin to the last and anything that you may do beforehand or after He is here to forgive you. He has his arms wide open for you. You can do it. But you have to make that step. Amen. Don't let nobody hold you back. Don't let popular opinion hold you back. Mm -hmm. Don't let friends or family hold you back from Jesus. I don't care if they laugh at you. I don't care if they think you're crazy. Mm -hmm. But there will be a day of reckoning. Amen. He loves you just that much. Yes. Yes, yes. And we're getting ready to go. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you're able to stand, please stand with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you so much for saving us. We thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins mm -hmm. and the sins of the world. He's our hope. That's the reason we live and move and have our beings. Mm -hmm. That we know when we leave this earth, as a born-again believer, that we'll have a home in your kingdom. Mm -hmm. You told your disciples, if it was not so, I wouldn't have told you that. Amen. You told your disciples that you are preparing mansions for us in the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. in heaven. And we thank you so much. We love you so much. Mm -hmm. We ask you to cover each and every one of us in the blood. Mm -hmm. Protect us from any hurt, harm, or danger from the evil one. Lead us and guide us into your righteousness, O oh God. Give us the pathway of righteousness that we can see, hear, and understand. That we may get your will done here on earth as it is in heaven. Provide every need, heal every sickness, O oh God. Whatever this situation or circumstance may be, you know what we need better than we do. So we ask you to do it right now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Continue to be with our loved ones that are, 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 are in bereavement, oh God, that are, that are hurting and missing their loved ones. Be with them. Comfort them in their time of need. We just thank you so much for what you're doing in the midst of this church and this community and all over this world. Mm -hmm. We say thank you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Now to him who is able to keep us from stumbling mm -hmm. and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with a singly joy to God, our Savior, to alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now, here, and forever. And we all sing together. Amen.